after a study in England found the Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccine to be 88% effective against the Delta variant, data from Israel suggests just 41% effectiveness. The contradictory results has created confusion in the media. For example, a Forbes article claimed, Israel's findings, are, the most up-to-date and accurate assessment of the Pfizer shot against Delta, which implies that Israel's report is more reliable because it's more recent. That's not necessarily true. Which is the correct figure for how well Pfizer's vaccine works? And why is there such a big difference in the effectiveness estimated by the two countries? Comparing the English and Israeli results is challenging because there are at least three potential sources of uncertainty that might influence the figures for efficacy. A vaccine's power to trigger an immune response can wane over time, so one explanation for the data discrepancy is that England and Israel estimated Pfizer's effectiveness based on people with differing levels of immunity. The design of existing coronavirus vaccines is modeled on the original strain of SARS-CoV-2, which means they can remain potent against that variant while also being less effective against new variants. If Pfizer's vaccine provides less protection against specific variants, it's less powerful against the virus generally. As a consequence, you would expect some fully vaccinated people who received both doses of the drug to be infected by a variant known as breakthrough infection. The report from Israel's health ministry supports the possibility that Pfizer has lost potency, leading to waning immunity. The country's rate of breakthrough COVID cases is higher among people who had been double jabbed a few months ago, long before they were exposed to Delta. Over a four-week period, the 20th of June to the 17th of July 2021, Pfizer's general effectiveness decreased as the time before exposure increased. Efficacy was 79% for those who received their second dose in April, 69% for March, 44% for February, and 16% for people who were fully vaccinated back in January. The average for those four vaccination months gives Pfizer's vaccine an overall figure of 41% effective. According to sampling of the Israeli population since mid-June, the prevalence of Delta is 93%, which suggests that Pfizer's figure largely reflects effectiveness against that variant. By contrast, the study led by Public Health England reported efficacy based on everyone who tested positive for Delta over a seven-month time frame, the 26th of October 2020 and the 16th of May 2021, and doesn't mention when those 122 people had been vaccinated. At first glance then, Israel's data looks more accurate as it shows Pfizer's effectiveness in finer detail, but other factors undermine that conclusion. Another possible reason for the discrepancy is the impact of age, which could introduce errors into the statistics used to estimate the vaccine's efficacy.